where you are not disappointed in the king of that kingdom? Aren't you glad that you belong to a kingdom that will, where the president can never fail you? Yeah. Hallelujah. That's the kingdom of God. Amen. Mm-hmm. Praise the Lord. Children, come forward. Amen. The Bible says, out of the mouth of babes and sucklings, he has ordained strength. Amen. And ordained praise. So the children are going to sing, he is the king of kings and lord of lords. Because there is no other name to lift up this morning than the name of Jesus. Amen. We are not lifting up the name of any president. We are not lifting up the name of any situation. But we are lifting up the name of who? Jesus. He is the president of presidents, the king of kings, the lord of lords. He is the only president that I know. Because he's the only president that that cannot fail. He's the only person that makes promises and fulfills them. His name is Jesus, seated on the right hand of the Father. The Bible makes us understand that God has highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name. That at the name of Jesus, every name must bow and every tongue must confess that he's Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So whether you're in Africa, you're in Cameroon, America, every tongue will confess that who is Lord? Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Thank you. 
can go to God. Can you go to God and say, ask something? Can you say somebody ask something in my name? Who am I? We bless you, Jesus. Mere dust. Thank you, Lord. Who, where did the, the prayer will not even go past? I don't know. But there is a name that when you go to God, yes, 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 yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes.
anything you can do. But we know Jesus is on our side. Amen? Yeah. Hallelujah.